just woke up. Wesley has a doctor appointment at like 11. So we decided to wake up at like 7 and do yoga. Not used to getting up this early, but it is what it is. At our two month visit, look at how big I'm getting. Say I was 11 pounds, 11 ounces, and 23 inches. How does that make you feel, Wes? Just trying to learn while I sit outside at this doctor's appointment. So something Dominique and I started doing this week is time tracking because we wanted to be better at productivity. And uh, also just making sure that now that we're officially business owners, we want to make sure that we're doing our best to work for ourselves every day and really make use of the fact that we own our time. So while she's in the doctor's appointment with Wesley, Papa wants to learn to try to get better at his craft. So I'm not setting a major goal for music this week. Like I'm not trying to track vocals and I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel and recreate a new song. I'm just gonna put everything together this week and get ready for next week because next week I will be tracking vocals and I wanna make sure I video document the whole way through that because that is a frustrating process to me and I intend on mastering it next week. This is what I'm up to this week while Dominique is now folding Wesley's clothes and getting ready for a bits party tonight with her and Raquel. Leaving, daddy daughter time. Ready? Ooh, outside time. Enjoy yourself. To be on my way to the bits party. Really excited. No worries. We're social distancing. It's just a little listening party. Everybody's keeping their distance, wearing their mask. But yeah, really excited to get out of the house. Stay tuned for some little bits from the party. What up y'all? So today we are sending out shirts. Yeah. Cop your Latrine up shirt today. Hit the link somewhere in the bio. I don't know. Handwritten notes too. Super excited to send these off. today because we're going to the beach, baby. Some Pokemon time. She loves it. She's all set. She got a bottle. She got a pacifier. She's comfy. And her frog. Wesley's first tunnel. Her eyes have been this wide the entire time. It's the beach. Back me up here, Trey. It's the beach. It's the beach. It's the beach. Yeah. The beach. Wesley's first time at the beach. We're not too sure about it yet, so. Uh, Trying to what figure this thing out.
do you talk to the bird? She just clapped. Okay, watch, 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 watch. No! Red light! We just got home from spending the day at the beach. It was much needed and we both felt like we washed the old us away. It was so cool. Like the waves were super rough and I've never seen the waves that rough at that beach for the first time in like years. And I've been going there for a long time. Not long, but 10 years. But like, uh, yeah, it felt cool because it was like where the waves were crashing, we wanted to be further out where the big waves were, where like the seven foot, eight foot waves were and we kept pushing through the small waves to get to the bigger ones. And it just felt like a life journey. Like it felt like the whole time that we were out there, we were pushing to get to a further place. And it sounds very spiritual and small, but it was a good thought and a great revelation for us because we realized like in our careers, we have to push. We have to push past the small waves that hurt to get to the bigger waves that are fun. And that is just what we are doing.